The polymerase chain reaction is a technique which allows one to amplify a specific region of the genome a billion A reaction is set up which contains a small amount of genomic DNA, two oligonucleotide primers which hybridize to either side of the region to be amplified, nucleoside triphosphates, the substrates for DNA synthesis, and the heat-resistant DNA polymerase, TAC polymerase. The reaction is placed in a PCR machine which controls the temperature of the reaction. Amongst the many DNA sequences present in the tube, only the DNA located between the sequences that are complementary to the primers is amplified. This is referred to as the target DNA. The first step in the reaction involves denaturation of the genomic DNA by heating to 94 degrees centigrade. The reaction is then cooled to 42 degrees centigrade, allowing the primers to hybridize to the complementary sequences in the genomic DNA. The temperature is then increased to 72 degrees centigrade, the optimal temperature for TAC polymerase to synthesize DNA. This completes the first cycle, and the process is then repeated. The DNA is denatured, cooled to allow hybridization of the primers, and heated to 72 degrees to allow DNA synthesis. Cycle 3. The DNA is denatured, primers hybridized, and DNA synthesized. At the end of cycle three, two of the products contain only the region between the oligonucleotides. At the end of cycle four, eight target molecules have been generated and eight longer length molecules. The number of target sequences continues to grow exponentially until by cycle 30 over 1 billion target molecules and only 60 longer length molecules have been generated. Adding dye is then added to the reaction and the DNA fragments are separated by electrophoresis on an agarose gel. The target DNA can then be eluded from the agarose gel for further analysis. 